welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He's out to the 30. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Play action. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Gives it off. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Six yards there on the counter. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled after a decent pickup. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some touchdowns. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. <laughs> Tremendous example of the type of chemistry that these two players enjoy. When a quarterback and a receiver are on the same page, good things tend to happen. He makes the PAT. So that's a five-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Tackle made at the 31. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Bring him down at the 40. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. From their own 45-yard line, second down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. We've got to change in the quarterback position. You've got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. And the halfback 
carries for a pickup of three. And that was a sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third and five situation. Ball on the 40. He's wrapped up for the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Try to change the field position with his kick. They'll bring him down at the 22. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. Hands it to the back. Broke away from one. Makes it out to about the 30. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to about the 40. Up the middle for a nice game. That'll bring up second and second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. around the 49-yard line. Down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Our score here at Kyle Field, the Rattlers, seven, the Cougars, nothing. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fumble, loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble.
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run, and he's brought down. It's second and three. Ball on the 35-yard line. Taken down in the backfield. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's knocked down immediately after the catch. First and ten, ball on the 45. Throw in left. Makes the catch, and he might take it. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. I think this defense right now doesn't realize if it's going to be a run or a pass. And that's the perfect time to be able to call play action. This defense is on its heels. They're guessing with the offense. That time they guess wrong, and the result is a big play for the offense. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. to maybe the 13-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. And he is drilled at the 11-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it four And the goal line defense digging in here. Knocked out of bounds right around the four yard line. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. on the run. He's taken down at the two-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. And that was the freshman linebacker who was right there to make the play. This is the tenth play of this drive. And they're in. Touchdown. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. About four yards on that play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. They 
It's third down and six to go. Ball on their own 37. Caught with room to work. He's out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. He goes out of bounds at the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Tackled for a loss. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. This is the eighth play of this drive. Around the 18-yard line, he gains a couple of yards on the carry. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. The 10 makes it out to about the 7. Throws it to the outside. Fires a laser touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Oh, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. They bring him down. You know, I don't think the offense did a very good job of recognizing the corner blitz. The quarterback's got to do a better job of using his eyes to recognize the blitz, and also it would have helped if the wide receiver would have been pointing like crazy at the corner, letting the quarterback know, hey, we've got a blitz here. That's time is a big-time miscommunication by the offense. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. He steps out at the 46. Uh, 
They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. A great first half comes to a close. Our score here at Kyle Field, the Rattlers 14, the Cougars 7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackling. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Number eight, he's returned. Whoa, he just took a lick at There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Bring him down for a sack on the play. Oh, here we go. They come out in a five wide set. Takes the grab and steps out right away. From the 47 yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. in the middle. They'll bring him down at the 39. And here's another third down. The Cougars saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Right down to the 38-yard line. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And he can't get away from the pressure. 
This is the ninth play of this drive. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. First and ten, ball on the 22-yard line. Inside the 10, and he hits him hard at the seven yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's in for the touchdown. surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he's taken down at the 35. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. The back gets three on the carry. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle around the 47-yard line. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 42. He's tackled at the 47. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the middle. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. First and ten after the big pass play. He 
gets to about the 34-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice run there. So with one quarter remaining, 14 apiece. to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop right around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 22-yard line, second down. Makes his way out to about the 12. He's taken down at about the nine yard line. Second down and seven. Nine yards to the goal line. Two time, two time. He's knocked out of bounds at the eight. It's the ninth play of the drive. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. He fights forward to about the 36. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 36. Receiver. Tackle made at about the 49. Setting up play action. He wants it all going long. Almost intercepted. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Play action. He's looking for six. Touchdown. And now they're winning this ball game. That was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You know, if a quarterback has a strong arm, one of his favorite routes is the post. 
but I thought the quarterback did a really good job here of using his eyes to move the safety, to open up that void in the defense, and then he made the good throw to the receiver for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He got hit hard. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than three minutes in the game. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Play action. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Zips it to the back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Good possession there for the defense. seven-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And down he goes at the 44. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Got some open field. Breaks one. Knocked out of bounds around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. They come out on an empty backfield. He's taken down at the 12-yard line. They complete the slant. Good for 10. The Cougars using their third and final timeout. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, you're probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Five wide. Once and all, going deep. Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. Two times, two times. Two down, two down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. The Rattlers, 24. The Cougars, 17. And the Cougars, 17. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.